These are flight simulator rudder pedals made in Germany, and they look awesome. They're the Simped F16 USB rudder pedals. We made a little modification to raise the pedals and prevent them from sliding across the floor. And it attaches to our existing floor unit made from PVC pipe. Rudder pedals are so important for things like taxiing or shooting stuff. We used two 1x4 boards cut 18 inches long for the foot rails and two 2x4 two boards also 18 inches long with the rudder pedals attached to the top. Now we want the 1x4s to be perfectly parallel so I'll show you how we did that. We start by drilling a pivot point in this 1x4 measured down three and a half inches to make an exact square then measure half the square and measure half again to find the exact center of the square and X marks the spot repeat that at the end of each 1x4 drill a hole with a 1 8 inch bit we're attaching this 1x4 to a 2x4 and you see we're using a block of wood and a builder square to keep the boards aligned with each other so the 1x4 becomes a guide to drill a pilot hole into the 2x4 so the deck screw goes in nice and straight we just repeat that with the remaining corners and created a square frame. The idea is that we can adjust the square until the 1x4s are perfectly aligned, then fasten it permanently. You can make tiny adjustments by tapping the corner of the frame and checking it against the builder square. Now it's right where we want it, so we hold it in place with a couple more deck screws and attach another 2x4 board. Now this board has served its purpose, so we remove it. We've brought the rudder pedals down to the workshop and taped the USB plug so it doesn't get dirty. Now we're going to drill holes into the rudder pedals. But don't panic. You see inside the base, there are no internal wires or circuit boards. So we can drill here and here without damaging any vital components. Again, we're using a board to help keep things square and attaching with round head wood screws and washers. We've been using the SciTech rudder pedals and they work just fine. We can replace them with the German rudder pedals without altering the floor unit. You might choose to attach the pedals with Velcro if you need to adjust the position for different pilots. Or you can just use a few more deck screws. Notice in modern rudder pedals they already provide mounting holes for the screws deck screws fit perfectly. Now the rudder pedals are raised higher and fastened securely in place. But before we call this project a success, let's do one more little thing. 
remove the petals one last time and paint the wood with some flat gray paint. In this case we're using tinted primer. Allow it to dry overnight. We're almost done. Our heels are going to rub this surface and eventually rub off the paint. We can protect that surface and our shoes with this aluminum foil tape. This is great stuff. It's sold in hardware stores near the ductwork and ventilation supplies. It's like aluminum foil, but it sticks like tape. It creates a smooth metallic surface for our heels to slide on. Now one last thing. These petals tend to flop down at the most inconvenient moments. So use a small loop of rope to lasso the return spring like this. And we still have full usage of the petal. And now we can roll up to our existing floor unit and hold the office chair in place with these Velcro straps. Now they're the same gray rudder pedals, but so much better with these simple little changes. We set up a page with more info on the Simped rudder pedals if you want to know more about them. And the link is in the sidebar.